I'm doing a Minecraft small battle with my friend, but I can craft any mob. I have a mod installed on the server that will allow me to craft any custom mob I want. And this is going to be insane. So, Cardi, are you ready to start the mob battle? Yes, Smirky, I am. Let's go. All right, then let the mob battle begin. And now that the battle has officially begun, we can start seeding with our insane one-way glass wall and we can just craft way better mobs but before we do any of that let's just see what cordy is gonna spawn in and it looks like cordy has some items in his hand so he's holding like a water bottle and is that a shell or something wait i kind of want to see where cordy is gonna drop this stuff because i want to see if i can figure out what he's gonna try and spawn in and i mean he is putting down some water so it could be like some cool water-based mob but it would have to be kind of ancient because of those shells i think they look pretty old but i think cordy should be done crafting that in. So now all he has to do is go over to his lever and flick it to see what that crafting recipe will turn into. But let's just see what it turns into. And he's flicking it. And what on earth did that spawn in? That is an ancient water dinosaur. Okay, that thing looks pretty insane first off. And normally I would be a little bit worried of that. But all we gotta do is head over to our crafting table and think what can we craft that is gonna be able to counter that. And remember Remember, we can use literally any material that we want on this crafting table. So let's think, what kind of items would actually be able to defeat a water mob? Well, first off, we'd probably want some lava-based item. Because, you know, lava obviously beats water. It kind of turns it into stone, too. But we don't want some normal lava. I feel like we want something more like a weapon. Maybe, like, some lava ocean dynamite. So let's grab some of that. And that's going to be good. So let's just put two lava ocean dynamites like that. Then, for the body of our mob, we actually need a block. So why don't we get some magma blocks and just place them down like this. And I feel like our mob needs to be really strong. So what kind of strength could we give our mob? What would be cool? Maybe like a turtle helmet? I don't even know what this will turn into. But let's just see. I'm gonna drop that right here. And I think this is gonna be our crafting recipe. So we got our magma. We got our turtle shell. And then we have our lava dynamites as the weapon. So that might actually be a really good crafting recipe. But now all we gotta do is come down to our lever over here and flick it a bunch and i wonder what it turned into and whoa look at that that is exactly what i wanted to spawn in and this thing is probably gonna be really cool do you see that the shell that it has on i guess that is like the magma blocks and the turtle shell we put on and then this is a lava mob so it's probably gonna have some insane lava attacks and that definitely looks a lot stronger than cardi's mob but now that we have this insane mob i guess we are ready for the mob battle in this first round it's literally gonna be a lava versus water mob battle so you know what cordy are you ready to drop the walls yes i am smirky and i'm just gonna say one thing my mob is so much bigger than yours so much bigger than mine okay well bigger doesn't necessarily mean better cordy because my mob is actually gonna be really strong and really tough to defeat smirky your mob is gonna be hard to defeat i do not think so uh you know what we'll just Let's see when we drop the walls in five four three two and one let's drop the walls and now the mob battle has officially begun and what is this is this some kind of like water dinosaur what on earth yes it is smirky i spotted the most ancient prehistoric monster ever whoa that is so cool well i also did something pretty prehistoric because look at my mob it's a lava turtle i think wait a giant lava turtle this thing is massive and wait a second lava is the exact counter to my water mob whoa that is a really weird coincidence but um cardi i think my mob is about to do some insane attacks i hope so at least and smirky look at the floor under my thing there's a bunch of lava and wait a bunch of TNT is coming out or something. And what happened, Cardi? Oh, is, is that its attacks? Does it literally do some kind of volcanic eruptions? Yes, I think it does, Smirky, and I think it's doing like a victory celebration. Look at all the volcanic eruptions. I think so, Cardi. It is literally just destroying everything. The crafting table is gone now. Oh my gosh, you won that so fast. Yeah, I did. Hey, Cardi, I think you need to craft a better mob next time, and I kind of want to do a challenge. 
challenge. Okay, Smirky, I'll craft a way better mob, but what challenge do you want to do? For a bonus point, let's try and see who can spawn in the bigger mob. The bigger mob. Okay, I'm definitely going to win. All right, Cardi. Well, let's reset the arena. And now we are on to the second round. But don't leave because this is about to be insane. Me and Cardi are going to see who can spawn in the bigger mob. And I'm just going to tell you right now, I have a secret mob that I don't think any of us have ever spawned in before. And I'm going to show you how to craft it. But first, let's see what Cardi is going to spawn in. So now let's see what Cardi is going to spawn in. I think he's holding some items right now. I kind of want to see what this turns into. So he popped out some kind of like ray gun thing and now he's dropping some purple armor. Okay, well, I don't know how this is going to turn into something giant, but let's just see what it turns into. So he has all his armor and a zombie spawning and then a shrink ray and another shrink ray and another shrink ray. Okay, uh, that might be a little bit dangerous because if you don't know, shrink rays are actually really good and they can make any small mob like Cardi huge. So that might be really bad for me. But I think Cardi's about to flip the lever and let's see what it turns into and he's flipping it. And what did this turn into? Is that a giant zombie soldier? That guy looks pretty giant and I think I can spawn in a better mob and something that is gonna be able to definitely kill it. So the thing with this zombie is it kind of has a close range weapon, I think. So what if we made something giant that could also fly? So we need to think what we could spawn in. So let's head over to our crafting table and think what we can spawn in. Well, a mob that could fly is like a phantom and phantoms are really annoying. So what if we got some like phantom stuff and placed them down right here? And those are basically like phantom fish or something like that. But phantoms aren't really that scary because I kind of want to spook Cordy's mob out a little bit. So we have the flying factor down and what kind of block would make it scary? Well, what about some nightmare scales? That sounds scary. It literally has nightmare in the name. And what kind of sound is that when I place it down? That sounds weird. But now that we have all this down, we also need to give our mobs some weapons. So I have an idea. What if we grab some ninja katanas and gave it this? So let's put one right here and one right here. So now that we have all this crafted in, what we should be able to spawn is like a scary phantom with some really strong attacks. And I'm kind of curious what this will turn into. So you know what? Let's just head over to our lever and flick it. And let's go and see what this turned into. And this is huge. This is literally bigger than the entire arena. And I think I'm going to get a bonus point for this. And Cardi, uh, I'm just wondering right now, do you see my mob's tail poking on your side? What is that? That thing is massive. Cardi, I'm just going to ask you right now. Did you spawn in a bigger mob than me? I don't think so. I thought mine was really big, but then I can see yours kind of poking through the wall and yours is definitely bigger. And I'm going to tell you right now, Cardi, that is literally just its tail. And I'm going to tell you right now, this guy is probably going to have some insane attacks because of how powerful I made it. I literally gave it nightmare powers and the powers of katanas. What? Why did you give it such OP powers? I just gave my guys some armor. Oh my gosh, Cardi. Well, you're going to have to prepare to be defeated in a second because I'm going to drop the walls in three, two, one. And let's drop the walls and let's go. Cardi, what on earth did you spawn in? Sparky, I spawned in a giant with a massive gun. Whoa, is that a freaking ray gun? Is That's literally the gun's name, Cardi. I know this is insane. And I think my phantom can literally drop bombs on your guy. And where did your guy go, Cardi? Sparky, I think my mom died. And why is the arena turning to wither and soul sand? Cardi, I think that is because it's part of my mom's powers. My mom literally has the most nightmare powers ever. And I guess that means it can literally do like wither attacks? I guess so. And it's still blowing stuff up. Your mom is just insane. I know it is. And it is kind of literally bigger than the entire arena with its wings, Cardi. You're right, Smirky. It even has massive green teeth. This is scary. I know, Cardi. You know what? I'm gonna reset the arena because look how destroyed it is. And trust me, the battles are only gonna get way worse than this for you, Cardi. All right, I'm ready. And it is now the third round of the mob battle. And remember what I 
said, the battles are only going to get way worse for Cardi, so don't leave because we are going to do some insane stuff. But anyways, now let's just go and see what Cardi is going to try and craft. And it looks like Cardi is starting to build something and he's placing down a lot of redstone. And what is he holding? He's holding like some kind of like armor or something or is that some kind of like mech suit? I have no idea what he is trying to spawn in, but it must be some kind of machine because he's putting down a lot of redstone. But is that done now? Because he filled up all of the nine slots. And Cordy is kind of heading over to Lever. Let's just see what this turns into. And he is flicking it. And what did that spawn in? That is a giant robot Godzilla. Okay, that is a very strong boss. And that can do some very insane attacks. And that is not a good thing for me. Now, normally I would be a little bit worried that I'm going to kind of lose this entire mob battle. But trust me, I'm not that guy. And I am going to win. So we need to think what kind of thing can like shut down that robot. Because I feel like that might be the only way we can kill it. You know what? Let's think of something. So what's a way we can turn off some redstone? I mean, is there any kind of redstone items we could grab? Maybe like TNT or something. I don't think that's a very strong explosion. I have an idea, but it's not something in the creative redstone menu. What we have to do is type slash give smirky command block. And now we have a command block. And with this command block, we should be able to turn off all the redstone. So let's just place one of these down here. And now we want some explosion attacks. So what we're going to do is grab some end crystals and obsidian. And then to make some really strong armor, we're just going to grab some crystal blocks just because they look cool. And now we are going to place down all the rest of these blocks like this, this, and this. And there we go. Now we have this crafting recipe done. And this should make a very strong boss with really strong attacks. So anyways, we should probably head over to the lever and see what we get when we flick it like this. And let's go. Hopefully this spawned in something huge. And wow, look at this mob. It's literally made out of crystals and it has a command block in it. So this guy is probably really strong and it sounds really kind of creepy, but it should be able to literally just turn off this robot. And I wonder what kind of explosion attacks it can do. Probably some really cool stuff because this does look pretty robotic. But now that our mobs are ready, we should probably ask Cordy if he's ready too. And Cordy, is your mob army ready? Because I'm just gonna let you know, I probably spawned in a better robot than you. And wait, I probably should have not said that. Smirky, how do you know I have a robot? Um, Cordy, uh, I can just hear the robot noises on your side. Y you know what? Just forget it, Cordy. But is your mob army ready? Yes, it is. Let's drop the walls. All right, then let's drop the walls in three, two, one. And let's go. And look at that. That is a giant robot Godzilla versus my robot mob. What is your robot mob? This thing is like twice the size. I know it is, Cordy, but it is taking a lot of damage. But Cordy, it looks like my mob literally regen to full health. What on earth is happening? Is it about to charge up and attack? I think it is, Smirky. And uh, hopefully you do an attack soon. Come on. And yes, its explosion powers are working. The power of the end crystals is actually doing stuff. Why is there so much lightning? What? Oh my gosh. Hey, Cordy, your mom is actually starting to take damage and it's flying up in the air. What is happening? This is insane. Your mom's attacks are so powerful and wait. No way. It literally fell off the arena from the knockback. I don't think my mom can literally take any knockback, Cardi. I know it is just chilling on this grass, having a good time because he just won the mob battle. And whoa, that's crazy. I I think it malfunctioned your robot because it's down there just taking damage right now. Oh my gosh, my robot. I thought he was going to win, but I guess not. But how did my robot malfunction? Well, Cardi, I want you to take a close look at my mob and see what kind of block that is on it. Wait, there's a command block on this. And you know what you can do with that? You can like type commands on it and make stuff do insane attacks. You're exactly right. And you can even shut down redstone, which I think you used redstone to build yours. Yeah, I did. All right. Well, you know what? Let's reset the arena. And it is clear I won that round. So now we are on to the third round of the mob battle. And as you know, as the 
the rounds get later in mob battles, we are gonna start spawning in way better mobs. Well, this time we are spawning in bad mobs. I'm just kidding. We're gonna spawn in some insane stuff. But anyways, let's see what Cardi is gonna spawn in. And it looks like he's holding a Medusa head. Okay, that is horrible for us because as you know, Medusas can literally turn any mob to stone. And I think we need to think of a way we can counter that. But I wonder what he's gonna craft with that because hopefully it doesn't turn into Medusa. So he's dropping the head and he's also dropping like poison there. And is that the crafting recipe? Okay, uh, that probably is gonna spawn in Medusa, but let's just see what happens when he flicks it. And he is flicking it. And what on earth did that turn into? That is a giant Medusa, which probably means that it can turn a mob of any size into stone. That is pretty bad. That is actually not pretty bad. That is really bad. But we need to think of a mob that we can spawn in that can basically like set up blocks to get rid of that thing's eyesight. And we need to figure out what can kill it. But I have an idea. So what if we grab this block called Fluton and then we also grab a crown. And I'm going to show you what this is going to spawn in. So we're going to put the crown right there and we are going to surround the rest of the crafting table with this block. And now we have our crafting recipe done. And basically I already know what this is going to turn into. But I've been saving this mob because it is really good and can spawn in a lot of blocks. But you know what? Let's just come down here and flick the lever to see what this turns into now. And let's go. Hopefully it spawned in my mob and whoa. It definitely did spawn in my mob. And this is going to be able to definitely counter Cardi's Medusa mob because this guy actually has an insane attack and his attack basically can turn the entire arena into blocks called Plutonium and it should be able to literally block lock this guy's eyesight off. But anyways, let's just ask Cordy if he's ready for the mob battle. And Cordy, are you ready for the mob battle? Yes, I am, Smirky, and you will not believe the mob I have. Uh, okay, well, I'm gonna tell you right now, my mob is an insane mob, and it will definitely be able to win. We'll see about that, because I'm pretty sure it will actually turn the stone. Uh, okay, so you spawned in Medusa, Cordy? Why did you even tell me that? Wait, how did you know? How did you even get that from turning to stone? Well, I guess it kind of makes sense. Sense. Yeah, it does definitely make sense. But Cardi, the counter for that Medusa mob is blocks placing in front of it, right? Wait, how did you know that, Smirky? That'll blind it. Oh, uh, yep, that is exactly what that's gonna do. And you know what, Cardi? I'm just ready to drop the walls. Let's drop them in three, two, one. And let's go! And yes, it's actually doing it, Cardi. It's placing a wall of plutonium in front of it. Wait, what? How is it doing this? My Medusa's not gonna be able to turn your thing to stone. And Cardi, I don't think my mob is gonna be able to die at all, and it will soon kill your Medusa mob. Wait, it's surrounding it in this pink stuff. Oh, wait, that is actually gonna be really bad if it encases it all in the pink stuff, because it should just kill your mob, because this is literally poisonous. Come on, Mr. Medusa, you could get out of here, and I don't think that they're gonna be able to get out of here. It definitely won't be able to get out of here, and my Fluto Queen can literally get in this and start doing some insane damage. Hey, Cardi, I wonder if your Medusa is even alive alive in here, and I can't really see it. I think it is, because I hear it. Smacky, I think it is still alive, but it's probably taking a bunch of damage. That is horrible! And come on, Fluto Queen, start doing some more attacks. We need to kill Medusa quickly. I need to open this up and let my Medusa out, Smacky! Okay, well, I guess you can do that, because my thing will literally surround it and blocks it. Yeah, it is still alive, but it is not gonna kill my mob, Cardi. It's still alive, and wait, it's just getting encased in the blocks again. There is nothing I can do. There is literally zero things you can do, and I've encased it in the blocks. Now, what the heck? Oh, my gosh. Come on. Oh, I, I think my Medusa's gonna die. And, Gordy, I don't think it's dead, because I don't hear it in here at all. Smart it's definitely dead. Wait, let me explode all of this, and look, it's not there. Yeah, it's literally gone. Wait, maybe you exploded it with that dynamite, Gordy. I don't know, Smart I think your mom just killed it, because your mom is so powerful. Yeah. Yeah, this mob is kind of insane. You know what? Let's reset the arena because I want to craft something really good. And so now we are on to the final round. And Cardi, before I do anything, can you give me a hint of what you're going to spawn in maybe? Okay, fine. I'll give you a hint, Smirky. And I'm going to make it out of the strongest ore that you have never seen before. The strongest ore that I've never seen before? Well, what does that mean? Is that like netherite before? Because netherite's pretty rare. I haven't really seen that. Smirky, this is so much more powerful than netherite 
like this is literally a super OPR. What? And what are you going to craft with that, Cardi? Smokey, I'm going to make a crazy golem. Oh, no, that is not a good thing. You know what? Uh, are you going to spawn it in soon? Yes, I am. I'm going to flip this lever in three, two, one. And what on earth did you spawn in, Cardi? Because I hear you flipping the lever. It definitely worked. And it spawned in a crazy golem. And you have no idea what it looks like. Okay, Cardi can't hear me right now, but I think that is an enderite golem. Okay, that is probably stronger than the netherite monstrosity, if you know what that is. But if you don't, you can literally find it in pretty much any other video because it is so strong. So that is probably a lot stronger. But anyways, I feel like I should craft a mob that I can definitely counter that. And let's get to making it. And so we also need a block that has never been seen before. So I am gonna type a command to give myself it. And we are gonna give myself a block that can make anything happen which is called a structure block this is basically unobtainable in the creative menu because of how good it is and what we're gonna grab now is we are gonna get some eyes to make this mob so we're gonna place one here 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 and around the whole crafting table and now that we have the crafting recipe ready i guess we're gonna come down here and activate it and hopefully this makes what i want and i'm thinking it's gonna do something really good and i think it spotted it and this is the mesmer Basically, this mob can make literally anything happen. And I feel like this is the only way that we can defeat Cardi's mob. Because this guy is actually going to be so good. But Cardi, are you ready to drop the walls? Because I think uh, my mob is definitely ready. Yes, I am ready, Smirky. All right, well, in that case, let's drop them now. And let's go. And Cardi, I think your mob is going to die soon. Because this guy is literally preparing his attacks. Oh my gosh, this thing is crazy and wait there's a bunch of weird stuff happening why are there like rainbow tnts everywhere and then like random snow blocks what is happening cardi what is this your mom's attacks cardi i think it is my mom's attacks it can literally do anything like i said smirky i think my mom's taking a bunch of damage and do you see what's happening it's literally spawning in a bunch of houses what what this mob is so random it just has the most random attacks ever i know it is cardi it can do like anything it wants. This is crazy. Come on, Mr. Golem, you can win. And there's like a thousand meteors hitting him. I don't think this will win, Cardi. It's only a matter of time before it dies. There is lightning, rainbow blocks, and everything. I've never seen something more crazy. I know, Cardi. And everything around it is exploding. I think it's gonna die. And Cardi, it is definitely dead now. <laughs> it flopped on the ground. Come on, where are you? No way it died. And I, I think it might have died. Marty, it used its structure block. It spawned in so many things. Wait, you used a structure block to create this? Yep, it is a never seen before block. It is more rare than command blocks. Oh my gosh, I can't believe you used that. And I think that means I win because your mom is not alive. But wait, Smirky, before we end the mob battle, what is this? Um, Marty, I should probably tell you something. This is one way glass and I was using it during the mob battle. You were cheating with one-way glass? Uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Cardi. Sparky, I do not forgive you. You better give me the win or else I'll be very mad. You know what? Fine. You can have the win. Let's go. That was really fun. If you enjoyed this Smirky and Cardi video, remember to like and subscribe and make sure you click on the video on the screen. It is my best one yet. Bye. Bye.